Hey, I'm Sarah with Advantage Health. In this video, I'm going to take you through a cool down. This cool down can be done after any workout. It's a generic open cool down, perfect for after a weightlifting session, a run, a bike ride, or just a little stretch to get you through the day. So to begin, we're gonna start down on the mat. I want you to come to your those knees right under your hips. From here, we're gonna try bringing our right leg forward. So we're gonna step our right foot in between our hands and then we'll reach hands up to the ceiling. By doing this, we're gonna feel a stretch right here in that left hip flexor for the hip flexor of our back leg. And then now straighten your right leg or your front leg, pop your toes to the ceiling and then fold forward. Now we're gonna feel a stretch along the back side of the right leg. Try to keep your hip and your knee on your back leg in a nice straight line. Hold here and then we'll come back into that hip flexor stretch. We're gonna do each of those one more time. Reach your hands up, hold, draw your belly in. And then fold forward, great job. Pop those toes up to the ceiling. Try to bring your forehead down towards your leg. Doesn't have to touch by any means. And then come back to the start. We're back to our beginning, hands and knees. This time, left foot comes forward. Ready, hands up to the sky. You should feel that stretch in the right hip. And now fold forward, straighten that left leg, pop the left toes up to the ceiling. Hold here. And one more time each. Left leg, hands up to the ceiling. Remember, suck your belly in and now straighten that left leg. Left toes up to the ceiling, fold forward. Awesome job, okay. Bring that left foot back to the start right behind you, hands flat to the floor. We're gonna do a down dog for just a couple breaths. Tuck your toes under so they're touching the mat and then pick your knees up off the mat, send your hips up and back. Try to press your heels down towards the floor. They don't need to touch here, just press them down so you feel a stretch through your calves. Maybe your hamstrings, your lower back here as well. Great job, okay. Let's walk our feet up to our hands and then slow roll up to the top. Nice job, once we're up, take one arm, reach it across your body and hold. Hook your arm in the crook of the opposite side. Try to relax your shoulder down away from your ears. And release that side. Same thing on the other side, reach your arm across. Hold that arm in the crook of the elbow on your opposite arm. Relax those shoulders down and breathe. Great job, release that arm. Next one, we are going to reach one arm up to the sky, pat ourselves on the back for a tricep stretch. You can take your hand to your elbow to give your elbow a little help staying up at the top. And let's go ahead, release, bring that arm down, give it a little shake. Same thing on the other side, reach your hand up, give yourself a pat on the back and then hand to elbow. Just give that elbow a little help staying up there at the top. And release, go ahead and shake those arms out. Next, we're gonna stretch the front side of our body, our chest, front side of your shoulders, maybe even a little bicep stretch here. Hands go behind your back, interlace your fingers, and then pull those shoulder blades together. You might be able to stay right here and feel a stretch. If you need something that's a little more intense, you can pick those hands up away from your body and hold them elevated in the air. 
Look up towards the ceiling a little bit. Give a little bit of a round in your back. Arch in your back, round in your chest. And release your hands back to your butt. Look straight ahead and release your fingers. Give them a quick shake, wiggle out. And that is it. There's your quick cool down. Great for after any workout. Thank you for watching this video and we hope to see you.